In Matthew 22, verses 37, 38, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul and our strength. Everything else emanates from that. The meaning of love in today's society is virtually meaningless. But the love of God, Akabe, is the only true foundation that a marriage can be based on. Since the time that Colin came into our family, we were so blessed. I love this guy. I love Colin when we first met him. And we were praying and asking God for someone for Ria's life. And we believe that God gave Colin as a blessing to her, and not only her, but even us. And so, you know, Ria has been like the right hand to, to us in ministry and church, and for that we are so thankful and grateful to her. And we are so proud also to know that, um, you know, she has a heart for God. And we totally believe in our heart that this is God's answer to our prayers through Colin. Beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God Almighty to witness and to celebrate the coming together of Colin Langi Langi and Anna Maria Leilua through the marriage covenant. To Colin and Anna Maria, we welcome you and rejoice with you in the celebration of your marriage. To witness your vows, to pray with you, to wish you joy in your life together. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Colin, do you take Anna Maria as your lawful wedded wife to live with her in marriage according to the ways of the Lord? Do you love her, comfort her, cherish her, and take care of her through sickness and health? Do you turn your back against all other women except her and that you will love her all the days of your life until death parts you? Yes, I do. You could be a bit louder, Colin. <laughs> yes, I do. Anna Maria, do you take Colin as your lawful wedded husband to live with him in marriage according to the ways of the Lord? Will you submit to him, respect him, love him, and take care of him through sickness and health, and that you will love him all the days of his life until death parts you? Yes, I do. By the joining of hands, and reciting your vows, you have demonstrated your love, devotion to one another. Therefore, I now pronounce you husband and wife. For the first time and a very special time, you can kiss the bride. This time, come on. Come on. That looks like more like a tongue and kiss, which is good. <laughs> I, Colin Lang Lang, take you, Anna Maria Leilua, to be my wedded wife. I, Anna Maria Leilua, take you, Colin Langi Langi, to be my wedded husband. To love and to take care of, for better and for worse. To love and to take care of, for better and for worse. In plenty and in want, in sickness and in health. I promise to love and cherish you to death, those part. In plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, I promise to love and cherish you to death, do us part, according to the holy will of God. According to the holy will of God. Your wedding day is here, and our hearts are dancing for you both as you celebrate the special moments of your commitment to become one in love. We would like to wish you both a lifetime of love, good health, prosperity and happiness. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you for raising us such a loving and beautiful daughter, Anna Maria Leilua. And thank you for loving Colin the way you do. And to our new Samoan family and our Tongan family, a very warm hello and ofalahiyatu.
just want to share how Rhea and Colin met. I went over to her house to hang out with her and she was on her phone and she was just smiling and scrolling. And I was like, what did you get up to today? And she said, in a suitcase, I saw this guy, he looks like Chris Brown. <laughs> and then I said, everyone looks like Chris Brown now. And she said, no, he like legit looks like Chris Brown. And here we are today with um, Rhea and Chris Brown. <laughs> It's been a blessing to know Colin and welcome to the family Colin, welcome to our crew um, <laughs> thank you for uh, taking care of Rhea, we trust that you will um, take over blessing and I duty of looking after her. <laughs> now it's your turn to deal with her um, bossiness and <laughs> but no we love you Rhea, blessing and I would be lost without you, just having you as a team with Colin like that's the best team you could have. And today we're so blessed and the Bible says that in class yesterday that God makes everything beautiful and it's timing. And today was so beautiful. We all witnessed the ceremony, even here, the reception, the love in the air. And that's how we know that today was part of God's timing. And I like to wish Rhea and Colin all the best. Like Grace said, um, we've been through everything thick and thin and to Colin's family. I know that Colin's very dear to you. I just want to say that we're going to love Colin as if he was with his own family. So don't worry, we're just going to take care of him. Rhea's always had my back. And I'm happy that Rhea's with Colin. He's a really good dude. Um, he's a good guy to, like, easy to get along with. And I'm really, really happy that Rhea's with the guy that's created a future for himself as well. So he can look after me and Salah. <laughs> yeah, I want everyone to raise their glasses for Rhea and Colin. Manuia. Our family have grown up with strong associations with Tongans and it's so natural for us to get along with Tongans and we're not surprised that Rhea fell in love with a Tongan because all of us, we have close friends, families who are half Tongans so today is just an addition to our Samoan Tongan family. Rhea, I love you. Colin, you know, I always love you. And you know why I, I'm happy today? Since Colin met Rhea, he in love. Thank you, Colin Langi Langi. You've been a faithful boyfriend and a faithful fiance. And you know, we couldn't ask for anything more than for someone that can make our daughter happy. That's our heart, is to keep our daughter happy. <laughs> 